Today, President Trump is visiting Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas, the site of two mass shootings this weekend. His visits sparking lukewarm reaction from many residents. Democratic leaders, meanwhile, saying his rhetoric played a role in the tragedies. ABC's Romina Puga is in El Paso with, as the president touches down with our top story at five. President Donald Trump visits Ohio and Texas today following two back-to-back -back deadly mass shootings. But before leaving Washington, the president dismissed claims that his rhetoric has emboldened white nationalists. I think my rhetoric is a very, uh, it brings people together. The president's first stop, Dayton, Ohio, where he and the first lady were met with protesters outside one of the hospitals where many of Sunday's victims are being treated. During their private visit, the mayor of Dayton and Ohio's Democratic senator said they pushed President Trump to support gun control legislation following the shooting deaths of nine people at the hands of a 24-year-old. Nine people died in Dayton uh, because of a, a gun. Here in El Paso, another community is also grieving. Mayor Di Margo and Ciudad Juarez Mayor Armando Cavada bringing flowers to the memorial outside that Walmart, where a 21-year-old suspect shot and killed at least 22 people. The president expected to get a lukewarm acceptance here as well. Many people saying the president's words are sparking violence. He has promoted a lot of this, that's, all this anger he has promoted it across the nation. And uh, it needs to stop. During the president's visit to Dayton, we did not see him interact with the first responders or lawmakers. We'll see if he meets with residents here. In El Paso, Romina Puga, ABC News.